Hello everybody, I'm Delta Sonic, and if you're wondering why is there a carpet on the floor? Well, today we're doing the review. Well, not really a review, but I, I'm just going to show you the iPod Touch 2 in 2016. Alright, so, um, let's start it up, so, this is the iPod Touch 2, and it is 8 gigabytes. it's really glossy and scratched up, focus, the Galaxy won't focus, but it's 8 gigabytes. I'll check that out in settings, and, anyways, it was, Released in, I believe, 2009. I'm... Uh... Anyways, um... It was released in 2008. My bad. 2008. And, um... It has... What's this? It has a Samsung S5 L8 720 core. And it runs iOS, the latest iOS it supports is iOS 4.2.1. Um, I'm just gonna put my code. Alright, so that's it. And I'm um, just gonna find the about in settings it's a very small phone device not phone device here we go hopefully yeah it's fine a uh, version 4.2.1 and 6.8 gigabytes of storage so you know all right so actually I've organized all my folders alphabetically Wow, it's so much harder to do it looking through my galaxy. Anyways, so it is 4.3 inches tall or 110 millimeters, 2.4 inches wide or 61.8 millimeters wide, and it is 8.5 millimeters thick or 0.33 inches, and it weighs 115 grams, which is about 4.05 ounces. Um, the iPod Touch models can either have uh, 16, 32, 8, 16, or 32. I have the 8, like I said. And they all look like this. And um, the 16 and 32 disc were discontinued when the iPod 3 was released. So, but the 8 still was there until I believe the. I think it was there for slightly longer. Um, Apple claims to that it um, to that it lasts. Uh, well, Apple doesn't claim. I just I'm just saying that it lasts. Um, I believe I would say hardly a day. If you're on light usage, yeah, it could last you a day. Um, but you know, it's not really um, gonna last that long. It's got a three and a half inch screen, three twenty by. 4, 480 by 320, sorry about that, and 165 pixels per inch. It has 128 megabytes of RAM, and this is there's no camera on this. This is just an antenna port. It's got like a stainless steel back, which gets scratched pretty easily. An antenna port, you've got your power button up here, volume on here. Usually they have the power up here now on Apple devices, the smaller ones. It has the 30 pin. Uh, charger this is this is what it looks like and it has um 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the standard home button that all well the new iPod has it has a 789 milliamp hour battery and Wi-Fi 802.11 B and G um, it's got an accelerometer, and, um, yeah, that's pretty much it I can tell you about this device. 
Um, so, anyways, that's enough specs, and let's get into the device. I turned it off. Okay, so, um, the iPod Touch 2, um, it was my first Apple device, and I actually enjoyed it. Um, it doesn't, uh, it's not as powerful, like, it's only, the core is only 533 megahertz. Well, it's decent enough, my Galaxy won't focus on it. Okay, anyways. I don't know why I'm here. It does not have, um, the, mul the multitasking. And also, because of the operating system it's running on, there is literally no apps. It's running 4.2.1, so there's pretty much no apps. So, whatever's here is all I have. I cannot get any more. In fact, I actually turned off the App Store. So, performance-wise, yeah, not the most po most powerful device. Um, and actually, the build quality is not too bad, but it's not actually flush the glass to the alum to the stainless steel. It actually does move a bit more on the side. There's dust in there. No, like literally in the screen. Um, YouTube does not work. I'll just... Oh. Okay, I don't have my... Alright. Um... Huh. Okay, um... Alright, here we go. It's pretty small, the keyboard, com compared to, like, a bigger device. But, let's go to YouTube. There we go. If it loads, that's really funny. Because before when I was trying... Oh, it did load. Because before when I tried, it did not load. So, let me just pop up a video of mine. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know if you'll even play because it doesn't, it's actually a three sixty P screen. Um, I'll put my NV two video. Maximize. It's maximizing. Huh. There we go. Oh, it's playing. We'll test out the speakers right now. The speakers actually inside around this area of the device, right there. But I'm surprised that YouTube actually works. It does have a built-in YouTube app, which does not work. I'd like to compare this to the um, to my Galaxy Tab, but. I am actually using it to record. But, um, here's the size compared to the 3DS. This is the XL model. Okay. And, um, I have a little slider here. I might do an episode on that one as well. They're about the same height. 
just lighter lasts forever actually it's like the complete opposite of this ipod um you know what? we'll test out a game maybe that to try out its performance i believe i have a racing game here somewhere okay i have asphalt there i don't think asphalt 5 works where's r it's really hard looking through the screen okay here we'll try out this game called run light Like, I'm say like I was saying, the speakers are on that area. So, oh, you can... This is probably the hardest thing I've, hardest thing I've ever tried doing. This makes it just more challenging. I don't know if this game's still on the App Store. Because I have not used an Apple device for almost two years now. That also means I haven't used this. Oh, I thought I was eating. Oh. Uh. But you saw it was pretty smooth. I did play earlier just to test. The score says 154. 184 actually. I know you guys will trust me. Um, I have a racing game because obviously racing games are heavy. So I thought, yep, might as well. Um... And I'm just go. I'll wait till it starts loading. So, yeah, I'll, do, I'll pause the video. All right, it loaded, but for some reason it's upside down. Oh, okay. Before I was showing you it upside down. A little twist. No. Let me just see if there's like any. Oh God. This is going to be pretty hard to play. Hmm. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, no, not Kree. Quick race. All right. This is really uncomfortable. Raphael Blue. Blue is my favorite color. If you didn't know. That's why I like Sonic. Also, I like fast things. Yeah. As you can see, I'm not... I can't race like this. Okay, anyways. In some games, it, the audio is good. Some games, it's not too much. Well, some, some files. As you can see, that it's not really dropping anything. It's staying pretty smooth for a racing game. That's pretty impressive. I also am a big fan of cars, so I have a bunch of Prius and like, Nissan. I haven't showed you the search and it and um, you can change what you find, but I haven't. The emails coming in here is pretty good as well. The speed of it. No one could probably see what I'm playing. Um, huh. it's really it's true. the iPod screen quality is not actually that bad. It's just my Galaxy screen. You look all funky. Um, what was the game I was going, oh, what's it, ah, man, I forgot the game I was wanted to show you, guys, um, hmm, no, I can't find it, hmm, oh, yeah,
Now I remember. One of my favorite games on any device is Brick Breaker. On the Galaxy Tab, I couldn't really find anything that was good. Any Brick Breaker game was good. That was good. Uh, this little guy, I found this Brick Breaker Revolution 3D. Please tell me this is still on the App Store. Anyone who owns an Apple device and enjoys Brick Breaker should get this game. I want to do like a dedicated video to this because, as you can see, it's not that um, good. Start a new game. Ah, I can't see anything I'm doing. Boom. Even here, as you can see, this is like full 3D graphics. It looks amazing, this game. It doesn't sound too bad on the iPod. And, yeah. Alright, so, in conclusion, the iPod Touch 2, if you do, well, it's, if you do own one, and it's just, like, lying around, like, somewhere, um, just, like, doing nothing, uh, I haven't shown the email because I don't want to, just private, just privacy, um, but, yeah, if you do have it, and you put your email, it's actually not too bad reading for reading emails. There is no microphone on this, actually, though. I did not mention that. And the all the photos that you'll take will look like this, what's on the screen. Nothing. Um... Well, anyways, that's it for this episode. No, not episode. That's it for this review. In conclusion, like I said, email for emails, this is good. And for games, if you have some games on it, I guess, that's good. If you still want to use this device, and you're fine jailbreaking, which I did use this, so I, I, I just got out of it. Uh, you should try out White Door. I'll put a link in the description down below. And that, that makes it look like iOS 7, which is really cool. I believe they're working on iOS 9. But, yeah, anyways, please like and subscribe and um, share it with your friends. Also, if you want to see more phone videos, you should check out my friend Awesomeness Rocks. Uh, I think he was 21, Awesomeness Rocks 21. It's somewhere on my channel. Just look in channels and uh, my buddy friends. You'll you'll see his channel. He's an old friend of mine. So you check out his channel as well. He has some pretty cool tips. But anyways, that's it for this episode. I'm gonna keep saying episode. This review. I'm Delta Sonic signing out.